My name is Chandrakant. I'm from the class of 2009 Taizvi. I worked for uh, Google for a few years in the Bay Area. After uh, an exciting one year at ISB, I went to McKinsey to become a consultant and uh, there I worked on uh, healthcare, so healthcare mainly serving generic pharma businesses. Now I work for a Hyderabad based company called Loris Labs that focuses on chemistry based solutions for life sciences, which means we work in the bulk drugs space. You want to do an MBA and you want to do it in India. And at that point, uh, if I ranked all the options available, this was different. It wasn't the same the crowd that just wanted to be something in business, it was a crowd that wanted to do something more than. Uh, more than what the normal career paths would demand. And after a U.S. Uh, education, I decided that uh, you know I wanted something more than academics. Academics seemed like important, but that was almost a given in any program that you went. So, as we offered all of that, a time when almost it seemed like there was no way out of the problem. Uh, there were so many talks that we would attend where people were predicting the doom for the business world. And on September, uh, you know, 15, 16, the, when, when the Lehman Brothers crash happened in 2008, you'd walk into the dining hall in the morning and you'd see the gloom on everybody's face. Those moments, though approached so negatively, were very defining. Because that was the time when I decided you had to be strong to come out of that situation. I think the character transformation that happened in those negative moments was, was so positive in hindsight that now, you know, problems don't seem so large. You seem much larger than those problems. One, let's say, unique advantage that no school in the world has, that it gets to pick a lot of visiting faculty. Today I have somebody who's teaching you from the United States and tomorrow somebody who actually teaches in London and somebody who teaches in Hong Kong. And then of course there's India as well. Before I joined ISB, I had no idea what McKinsey was. And I had no idea what consulting was. I guess for somebody who had lived in the US, it was a little funny that I had never heard of them. Uh, but I didn't, quite honestly. And after that, I ended up joining them. Almost uh, unplanned until, until sometime when I decided that consulting does look like an interesting opportunity. And I think it built a great network. Today, my network is so wide because of the ISB network. And not necessarily only from my class. There were so many other classes which have done so interesting things. That network is something that I cherish today a lot. And that has been helping me both you know, as good friends, uh, to have a good time over a weekend, or you know, when you want to bounce an idea off somebody and something very serious, where you know, sometimes I've had situations where people helped each other start companies, have actually written checks for capital. I think the the few things that you learn at ISB, both in terms of the values uh, and the network that you build, are just so good that the, I would ask somebody if if you if that's an option that you can take a break in your career and actually go to ISP, I think the simple answer is that you should. The ISP experience at the end is what you make of it and the options are just so wide uh, that it's a canvas that you can paint on in whatever color you wish to choose.